Happy October 9th, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 quest calendar, The Leaf Riders of Renwood. Yesterday, Ivy gained a mask of feathers from the treasure chest she found in the town of Oberworth. It adds to her defense and damage. We're up to plus 3 damage and plus 11 defense. Also, the villagers rallied and gave Ivy and party 30 amber, so we're up to 90. I think that's the most we've ever had total. Um, I'm not sure what's next for us now that we've rescued the town. We came here because it's the last bastion of civilization on the outskirts of the Dark Forest, where we hope to find the fourth and last ancient guardian. So, let's see what adventure is on the calendar for us today. You leave town and venture deep into the dark woods, where you notice a pervasive disease has afflicted the trees, rendering them frail and lifeless. We're going to do three things in order. Examine the trees, dodge the falling tree, and avoid the dust cloud. Here we go. Examine the trees. Roll d20 plus wisdom. Reminder, student. 20. Excellent. Uh, it gives us a boon die we can use later, and that'll be the best result. Every part of you tells you to avoid touching the diseased portion of the trees. It disintegrates upon contact and spreads through the air. Take a plus two bonus on rolls to avoid the trees, number two and number three below. All right, we have a plus two. That is going to try to help me remember. Step two, dodge the falling tree. Roll d20 plus dexterity. We get a five. Our dexterity is plus three is eight. And this is uh, danger sense plus two is ten. Plus two is twelve. And that gets us the middle result. If we can get four more points, we can get the best result. I don't think that's going to happen. So... I mean, there's a slim chance, but let's go ahead and take the middle. Middle result. You desperately attempt to evade the falling tree. It crashes down onto another tree to knock it over as well, which falls to the next to knock another over. You watch this spectacle unfold as more trees fall around you. Roll d20 plus dexterity. Uh, 8 plus 3 is 11. I, I suppose this uh, applies. So that's 13. So this is the best result. Your nimble movements allow you to evade the trees unscathed. Excellent. Step three, avoid the dust cloud. Uh, the commotion from the falling trees has caused a bit of dust to fly up in the air. This is a constitution check. We get a four. Our rolls, aside from that first roll, our rolls are pretty sad today. So that's four plus two constitution is six plus our bonus is eight. Uh, that's the worst result unless we can get one more point. And we have uh, Lily in the party. We also have two consumable south seeds. So we can definitely get this. Um, what do we currently have? Four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's try... Let's try Lily first. There's our party. Lily has come through for us before. She's our green beetle. And we need a... Um, Yep, a club or a spade greater than or equal to four. Here we go. Oh, it's a spade, but it's not greater than or equal to four. And so that doesn't work, but we have a couple of stout seeds. Let's use those. We'll use one of those. Ivy, let's see, adds D4, so Ivy gets a plus one to that. We'll go down to one stout seed. And let's see what we get. Where's my D4? Here we go. 2 plus 1 is 3. That gets us 11, I believe. And what does that take us to? That is the middle result. And I don't think we could... We, there's a very small chance we could use another one and get the best result. But let's take the middle result here. You breathe in the air particles, irritating your throat. Reduce your health by 1. So, okay. Not terrible, after all, after all that. The domino effect of the falling trees. Uh, we wind up with one one damage. Um, we'll take it. We're down to 24. 
And that, my friends, is October 9th. So we shall say goodbye for now and visit Ivy and friends again tomorrow. I hope you'll join us. Thanks for watching.